yo, 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 what's good, world? Y'all already know, man, it's your boy Gio, man. You know, I got some updates, man. It's about your boy Boozy and Rollo, man. You know, Rollo really supporting Young Dolph, man. They show him going to the store to support, you know, Young Dolph with his Dolce and Gabbana. You know, he's really rocking with him because he know that he's a real one, man. And, you know, he got into it with Boozy, you know, once before about some things. And he's really not feeling the wave that Boozy is trying to do. I guess he's just seeking attention, you know, because he just met up with Yo Gotti. And, you know, Rilo, of course, you know, he was going to say something about that, especially since they've been going back and forth. Him and Boozy been going back and forth, man. And for him to meet up with Yo Gotti after the whole situation, the whole scenario, when they saying allegedly Yo Gotti and Big Joke, they the ones that called the shots on Young Dolph, you know, to have him, you know, uh, taken out, you know, and for him to just chill with him like nothing never happened. I mean, I'm not sure if Boozy was that cool with Dolph, but he know what's going on with Rallo. He know how Rallo moving. Rallo's back out, man, so... You know, he got a beast to worry about, and Rallo got a message to send to Boozy, man. Like, he big mad about this, man. I mean, you got to understand, too, you know, they all are together, you know, and for them to make a split and for something like that to happen, you know, that's a big thing with Rallo and Boozy when they made that split, when they, you know, made it official that they beefing, you know, and for Boozy to turn around and do that, of course, yeah, you going it's gonna be on the internet. Yeah, like I said, it's the attention. That's the only thing I can think of, man. Because there's no reason for him to do that when he know the situation he's in with Rallo. You know, you correct me if I'm wrong, but or he could just say, hey, you know, I ain't worrying about Rallo. You know, I'm gonna do what I do, and I'm gonna meet up with who I meet up with, or I might taunt him, and I'm gonna meet up with your guy and see what he say. You know, you never know how you know Boozy's feeling, but. I can just tell you this, Boozy, you need to watch yourself, man. You've been in the game for a minute, man. The last thing you need to do, bro, you get pulled over so much. You get, you got so much stuff going on. Nobody's perfect, man. But for you to be an artist, you're supposed to be way out the way, to be honest. You're supposed to be way out the way, man. You shouldn't be having to worry about none of this stuff, you know. And that beef that y'all got, man, it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger. You know, until something is resolved. And I think that that's something that they need to work on. They need to work on how to figure out to resolve that beef issue. And it's going to be even harder now since he's with Yo Gotti. And of course, you know, Rallo is not feeling Yo Gotti at all. Not at all. And, you know, they were talking about the CMG Rico, you know, and Yo Gotti, he better tighten up, man. Like I said, he need to tighten up. He need to keep. Angela Simmons out of this. She don't need no ties with this. I mean, if he don't do that and she get tied up in something, just best believe her side of the family is, is going to pull some strings. Them dudes been in the game before any of them, you know, and all I got to say is, man, he just he just need to figure out his wave and, and he need to start moving right. You know, if he don't care, he just need to let it be known that he don't care. So then Rallo will get that point. I mean, I guess he getting the point now since he met up with Yo Gotti. So we shall see. Y'all got to check this one out. Let me know what y'all think about this and drop the comments, man. The whole thing, y'all y'all thoughts, man. Just let me know about y'all thoughts about this whole situation that's going on, man. With Yo Gotti, Rallo, and Boozy, man. Let me know what y'all think about that, man. Hit the subscribe button, man. Check out the next video I'm going to upload about this whole situation, too, man. Um, Give y'all some more insight, more information. You know, so y'all stay tuned. And uh, I appreciate all the love and support from all of y'all, man. I really do, man. And we're going to keep going up. We're going to run it up. We're going to run it up, man. I'm out. So this is right here. It's called a paperwork party. This is what you do in the feds when, you know, Niggas be on the other one. So this is discovery. This is under seal documents. Smell me. That I refuse to release to the public. I once put the public in my business and you know they came and got me off a plane with some shit.
So I no longer put the shit on. So if you're a real nigga, you want to pull up. Nigga, pull up. So read that. What that say? Right? That's called the what? Statement of reason. Statement of reason. Statement of reason. You only can get this from your counselor. I actually stole this from my counselor. I let somebody come in while she was talking to him, and I took it. And down level, let you get this. So this is what determines whether you got a 5K1 or not. Rollo, leave Boosie alone, bro. You know he fighting the Fed case, my nigga. That's really some big shit you doing right now. He fighting the Fed case. Anything he do on social media, they know they're going to use it against you. Leave the nigga be, bro. Nigga, did, did, did the feds hire you, nigga, to go trigger the man? Leave the nigga be, bro. For real. Rollo, I, I believe now. Okay, we're going to run it. I believe Rollo, like DMX portrayed on Belly, has been contacted by the FBI oh, shit. to antagonize and trigger Bootsy into saying something that may impl implicate that he may do some violence with a firearm or something. He trying to get Bootsy out of his body because there's no reason why you tripping on Bootsy taking a fucking picture with a man that then looked out for his family when he was down on his luck. I believe the federal government has contracted Rollo or told Rollo he needs to fulfill his end of the deal, as we heard previously. And I think he's targeting Boosie, right? Right, right. To be one of the individuals that he gonna help the government take down. That's what I believe. You know, like a nigga ain't been in the game since, hey, yeah. Yeah. I seen the nigga come up. I swear, like, I seen the nigga come up. <laughs> How you yeah. be, good night? I appreciate oh, you too. Man. Every time, man. Yeah, you good? Every time, I need that Boosie, man. Yeah. You know, I need you. you know, they you asking know, for you. you. <laughs> Boosie know he should have let that man family grieve for he did all this old dapping and hugging ass shit. Everybody just seen that motherfucker trial and seen that this man resurface footage of him getting shot. But he wanna go over there, do all this. Hey, I see man, fuck all that. Have you met Jook before? Never met him. Never. Hell nah, I ain't met that nigga before. I ain't even know how he looked until yesterday. If I got a problem with you, I go handle my business. You know, where I'm from, niggas are always talking about they send hits and shit. Where I'm from, we don't respect the nigga that sent the hit. We actually respect the nigga that did the hit. You smell me? So, you know, I just don't respect shit like that. Nigga, you got a problem with me, come handle me yourself. You smell me? Get him, get in the bushes. He should have took his fat ass and got in and handle his business. That's what I'm on. You smell I me? ain't even know that it was gonna hit the people the way it hit the people. I was just so f mad. I'm like, man, f them niggas, man, I don't give a f man, f We smoking a Zook pack. I don't even motherfucking smoke. But shit, the goddamn, I made me a lot of money off his ass, cause all the goddamn little distro motherfuckers hit me up. I might have made me about forty, fifty thousand off of him. You know, I'm charging a high high for Zook pack promos right now. <laughs> You recently went live and you said that you don't want to be an old rapper like Boosie. And Boosie didn't take that too lightly. Um, Boosie flexed his muscles a little bit. He says that every weekend I'm touching one, I'm getting 150, 150,000 cash. Um, man, you know, but, but, why, but, why poke, but why poke at Boosie though, man? Why, why say something like that? Because he was fucking with me while I was in jail and I don't forget that shit. Like, niggas that been in jail, right? Bitches will get on the phone and they'll hang up the phone to your face. Hoes ch cheating on you out here. Hoes be motherfucking, motherfucking spending your money, stealing from you, trying you, doing all this lame ass shit. And some of these bitch ass niggas, they be running out with your money. And we don't forget that shit. You smell me? And I just didn't forget none of this shit Bootsy did to me while I was in jail. He was clowning me while I was down. So. I ain't, I, I just said, okay, I'm gonna clown that pussy ass when I get out. That's what I'm gonna do. If the nigga don't sit down and have a conversation, cause I came to him kindly. Hey, all right, let's have a conversation. I'm in Texas. I wanna go play Boosie Boo Bun. Soon as he get a bun, I'm a real bro. I'm gonna go get my boy out. Soon as Boosie get a bun, I go burn him out. I pay the lawyer whatever he need. They know I'm good at doing like that. They know me for doing like that. I love you, boo boo. Show behind a, beyond a reasonable doubt that he did not incarcerate or incriminate anybody. 
Would you give nah. him that opportunity in the spirit of Quan bringing us all together under the same nah, building today? I don't want to get into get into all that. You know, I just okay. let things go out. Okay. I, don't, I don't go back and forth with nobody. I got it. Well, we already knew that. Well, God bless, bro. Stay strong. Bless you and your family. Yeah. Now, let's, let's take a listen to the clip when uh, Boosie was here on Breakfast Club that he's talking about. I stick to the code, bro. Like, that's mm -hmm. with anything, bro. Like, you know, I talked to Rallo. Like, Rallo was my, my partner, bro. Like, I had a good respect for that dude, mm -hmm. bro. Like, he be on soon, though, from what I heard from, the, from what I read. Shit, I don't know. It looked like he talking, you know what I'm saying? So, I was looking at that shit, bro. I'm like, Oh no! I thought they they said that wasn't they said that wasn't true. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I just from the situation, like I like I told him, bro. I fuck with you, but I can't fuck with you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you you spoke to him and told him that. Yeah, I texted. him. Damn. I DM'd him. And what he say? Uh, he say I'm looking at it the wrong way, and you know shit like that. Cause that hurt me with Rallo. Cause you know I fuck with dude, bro. I told him, man, I don't know who you think you talking to, bro. But I. Feel like I done lost another partner. You know what's crazy about situations like that is what's I don't that? even remember Boosie saying any of that. But imagine being Rallo. You're not going to forget it. Because no. that's being said about him. Especially when he's in jail. He can't. And, and to, a, to a massive audience. Yeah. Reporter tries to get Boosie and Rallo to squash their beef while they're in the same building. I know you want to clear your name. I don't believe you cooperated with the fair. But the brother that you were in the tiff with is right. actually in the building. Can right. we try to resolve this amicably here in honor of That's something you got to deal with him. You know, him believing the same thing we believe in. I understand. Look, I'm brother. always open okay. to any peaceful conversation. And can we approach him humbly? Of course. Okay. Come mm -hmm. up, man. I okay. I'm not going to You know what we are. You know you're a man of principle, right. of morals. You don't violate the G-Code. In the spirit of crime bringing us together, okay. would you give the brother Rollo a chance to show beyond a reasonable doubt that he did not incarcerate or incriminate anybody? I don't want to get into, get into all that. You know, I just let things go out. I don't. I don't escape no shit like that. I, I seen you real about, upset about that, too. Man, that shit, like, you go, you go do all your time. You go stand on business. It's easy to tell. Any nigga can go in that motherfucking town and get right out of jail. Think about you doing six years, hard time, 24 hours a day. Sometimes, some months I stayed in the hole for months, not a week in the hole. You know how it feel to be in a room for four, five months, can't come out that motherfucker? They ain't letting you get commissary. You suffer. You no suffer. No phone calls you either. Suffer. No phone calls. I ain't letting y'all get no phone calls. You get one phone call in a month. And then a nigga call you a rat. But I should have dropped you the motherfucker right? You stood on business. You could have did that. You could have did that. You know what I mean? So, like, that was, like, probably the, the worst shit. I had to really lose my mind to come out of that. You know I mean? Was I had that one break. of the co-defendants or somebody? Who started that? Uh, a room? nigga that wasn't even on the case. Mm. It be like that. Nigga ain't even got nothing, going, nothing to do with nothing. They just be trying to do anything for Instagram likes yeah. and views. I seen you were upset about it, but when the when Boosie mentioned it, you really went, the you thing went about on that People Boosie. like the brother, I don't, whatever Boosie, I love the brother. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Misguidance is what causes mankind to be ignorant. You see what I mean? He was led into that dictionary. If he would've went fed or he would've at least talked to me and said, Rollo, pull up with the paperwork and show me because this nigga saying this about you.